Do the light skin face. Hey, do the light skin face. Hey, do the light skin face. Hey, do the light skin face. Hey. What's up guys, it's me again, Notorious J here for another weekly video. As you can tell, the title of this video is Savage High School Senior Advice. Yeah, I know you thought I was probably about to get hyped for this intro, but no, nah, not this time. But yeah, I know y'all probably thinking, Oh Jalen, uh, why do you keep making these videos, these advice videos, they suck, they're not helpful at all, like this is why your channel sucks, because you keep making the exact same content over and over and over again. Chill. This is my last advice video. I wanted to make three. One for freshmen in college, freshmen in high school, and now seniors in high school. Because like these are three big transitional periods in like life. So like I wanted to share my tips and advice with y'all. So like y'all could be better with doing these things so yeah but yeah i'm gonna share some savage advice with y'all upcoming seniors in high school because y'all know i'm a savage straight street life 21 21 no nah, i'm just joking but yeah i might have dropped some real advice for y'all because i was a senior in high school like two years ago or three years ago or four or five six seven eight i don't know anyways i was a senior in high school not too long ago so that's why my advice is the best it's not like them old people who are like seniors in high school like over 50 years ago so yeah i'm about to share some gems with y'all some knowledge Knowledge. But anyways, enough with the talking. Let's hop into the savage video. <laughs> Again, with the weirdness. That dab was like uncalled for. Anyway, hop in the video now. Tip number one. Attend every single school event. Like this is your last year of high school. So like go to every single thing that your like school hosts. Because once you get out of high school, like you're going to regret not going to these events. So like go to the football games, the basketball games, go to prom homecoming if it's a chess match you go to that chess match too like you gotta create memories like it would be way better to like go to something and it'd be boring to not go and like wonder what it was like like me for example my senior year i didn't go to any football games because i was on a football team i didn't go to any basketball game or prom or homecoming like looking back at it like i was a lame senior like very lame i didn't go to nothing my school hosted like i said i didn't go to prom because like i got rejected by this girl i was crying and stuff all upset and my feelings <laughs> nah i'm just joking i ain't get rejected because like who could like reject a face like this bitch swear but nah for real it was complicated so i didn't go to prom like i could have went by myself but i didn't want to go by myself because like i just felt like that would be awkward like being by myself without a date so i ain't go to prom anyway looking back on it like i wish i kind of would have went to some of these high school events prom homecoming and all that but like i didn't go so it is what it is but you're still in high school so you got a chance to go to these things so Go to the school events, create memories, cause like later on in life you can look back at it and be like, dang, that was fun being at that football game or that chess match or prom. Tip number two, don't catch senioritis. All right, so y'all should know what senioritis is, but I'ma still explain it for the ones who don't know what it is. Senioritis is basically becoming a senior and having like the mentality like, I really don't give two flying about school anymore. This is a horrible mentality to like get to like do not get senioritis. I know you're a senior, you're probably thinking like, oh, school's almost done, these grades don't matter, I'm about to go to college, I'm about to be done with high school, like none of this really matters anymore. But no, you're wrong, like everything still matters, so like take your grades serious, don't start slacking off. Cause if you do, like it could come back to haunt you big time. Like me for example, my senior year, I caught senioritis, like I had a Spanish class that I like didn't like, cause I'm not really with that whole como te llamo type stuff, like you can miss me with that. Nah, I'm just joking, but for real, my senior year, I had a Spanish class, I really didn't didn't like it because it was like super hard and like I was thinking like all right I'm already accepted into my college so like this class really doesn't matter to me so like after the first month I would start skipping class like constantly I was like barely in class I would be like at least skipping like two classes per week so like if you do the math that's a bunch of classes I skipped anyways towards the end of the school year for me to pass I had to like go to like after school and like make up all these assignments I missed and like I was doing that for like a good two three weeks just for me to get a D like for me to get a D in the class I had to like do all this extra work 
work for me to get a D. But yeah, my college hit me up and it was like, hey, yo, Jalen, like, why did you get a D in this Spanish class? And like, I was all nervous and stuff. I had to write this like long two page essay telling them that like it won't happen in college. I apologize and all this. Luckily, my school, they like accepted it and like let me still come. But they could have been like heartless and was just like, hey, yo, fam, like, you gotta go somewhere else with that. Like, you not accepted into this university no more. We don't want you. And if that would have happened, like, I would have been like super upset. So, like, I'm really glad that didn't happen. But yeah, like, if you slack off with your grades and stuff, the college may like be heartless and hit you up and be like, sorry, fam. We don't want you no more. So with that being said, don't slack off. Don't get senioritis. Tip number three, don't date. All right, it's your senior year. Last year in high school, like it's very, very pointless of like dating somebody. Well, not if you already like in a relationship, but like don't try to like start a new dating relationship because like it's very pointless. Senior year, time is running out. It's a big transition. Y'all about to go separate ways. And like, it's very, very pointless of like just trying to go find a new girlfriend or boyfriend your senior year. So stay single like a Pringle and Mingle. Ooh, I know y'all see them bars right there, fire. But not for real, stay single. It's very pointless to date, especially like if y'all about to go to two different colleges. Long distance relationships suck. Don't do it, stay single, focus on your grades. Tip number four, prepare for college. All right, so if you plan on going to college, this tip is like for you, but like if you don't plan on going to college, I guess you can like skip this tip and like go to the next tip. But anyways, prepare for college. So this means like do your college applications as soon as possible. Like start doing them now. Don't wait later on into the year, like when Teachers are starting to give out homework and stuff, and then you gotta do college essays and all that on top of it, which is like super stressful. All that stuff going on at once, so like just knock them out like right now. Plus, if it's like a college that you really want to go to, it's best to knock it out because like some colleges got like the early deadline and the regular deadline. If you do the early deadline, there's a higher chance of you getting accepted into that college versus doing the regular deadline. So get started on them applications. Don't procrastinate because I'm telling you, if you wait, you're gonna be like, dang, I wish I would have listened to that black sexy guy named Notorious J and did like my application early versus doing them now when like all these teachers are starting to give me wet loads of work. Also with college like don't apply and try to go to the college that like your best friend or like your girlfriend or your boyfriend goes to. No, don't do that. Go to the college that like you want to go to. Like you got to be selfish. I'm selfish. At this moment like I know people tell you don't be selfish. I'm selfish. But you got to be selfish. I'm selfish. And like choose the college that you really like Not that somebody else really likes The school that you like And go to that university So like if your friend wants to go to Harvard And like you don't want to go to Harvard Don't go to Harvard just because your friends And everybody's going there Go somewhere like where you want to go like, Go to whatever university you want to go to But not Harvard if that's not what you want to do Tip number five Grind Like I know it's just like a one word tip But grind If you play a sport, academic, anything in high school You better grind It's your last year on that team So you grind Like if you play basketball Ball, you better be dropping 80 points a game this year. You play football, you better be dropping 80 touchdowns a game this year. You play tennis, you better be dropping 80 whatever they do in tennis. I don't really know how the sport of tennis works, but 80 serves or 80 hits, 80 points, 80 whatever you do in tennis, that's what you better be doing 80 of a game this year. Because this is your last year in high school and like you gotta go out with a bang. Like it would suck to suck your last year in high school so don't suck and be good on the sports team that you're on and like leave with a statement tip number six. I don't know what I was doing. I was about to say, I don't know what I was about to say. Anyway, tip number six. There we go. Right numbers this time. So y'all not about to call me stupid or nothing because I got the right numbers up. Tip number six, be safe. All right, I know it's your last year in high school. So like you want to party, go out, have fun, do all this stuff. But like at the end of the day, be safe. Like I know some old people like to be like all oblivious and stuff to the fact that like seniors and people in high school like to drink and smoke and all that. If you do do that, like be smart about your decisions. Like don't make a stupid decision one night that you mess up your entire future so like don't get in the car with somebody who's drinking or don't drink and drive don't like calm stuff when you're drunk don't do stupid stuff when you're drunk don't smoke and do stupid stuff like if you're a good kid like me and don't drink and smoke then like you should have nothing to worry about but like if you do do these things just be safe make smart decisions and like just think before you do stuff so like you won't end up like doing something very very costly tip number seven be rememberable i don't even know if that's a word like rememberable it doesn't even sound like a word i don't know anyways be rememberable so that means like leave with the statement so like when you leave high school like do something for like all the teachers and all the underclassmen students to be like dang i really miss that guy he was a cool guy i bet he's gonna have a cool life but like don't do something memorable like punching a teacher like, that's like something you don't want to get known for remember about like punching a teacher everybody's gonna be like oh that's the student who punched the teacher like you don't 
don't want to be getting known as that. Actually, like, you probably won't even finish your senior year. Like, you probably will finish it, like, behind bars in some jail for punching a teacher. So, like, don't punch a teacher. That's nothing you want to get, like, remembered by. Do something better, something great. I don't know what to tell you to do, but, like, you know, find something to do that, like, everybody be like, dang. He or she was an amazing student. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. Some savage advice from my upcoming seniors out there. If you like the video, you know what to do. Press that like button down there and smack it. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. Share it with an upcoming senior out there who wants to become a savage. Thanks for the support, my supporters out there. Team Notorious, the best team. Deuces. Oh man, I forgot to cut on my lights. Oh, should I redo it? Nah, forget it. I'm not gonna redo this video. Everybody know I'm next. Ooh. Everybody know I'm next. Ooh. Hundred thousand on my neck. Ooh, I be running up a check. Ooh, I be fucking on your ex. Ooh, everybody know I'm next. Ooh, everybody know I'm next. Ooh, everybody know I'm next. Ooh, I'm not gonna fuck on your bitch. Ooh, I'm not gonna fuck on your bitch. Oh, fuck.